Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools and this week I've got, oh I've got an announcement. I've got something really cool. I've been working with uh, a company over the last couple of weeks to get this straightened out and they are sending me, a, I guess we'll call it a prototype machine. It'll be the first one in the US of A and it'll be seen on this channel. So you definitely want to hold on and you know check that out when it comes up. Should be in the next two weeks or so or less. Meantime today we're going to talk a little bit about if you're a woodworker, do it yourself or around the house doing projects, this is the one tool you should have. <laughs> what is it? Let's find out. So if you're a woodworker or you uh, do it yourself or do you know home furniture, wood repairs, anything like that, what is the one common denominator that you, me, we, we all run into? And I'm gonna need some. Uh, I'm gonna ask for comments to see which uh, which one does you the best. <laughs> but yeah, handling wood, you end up with slivers. <laughs> yeah, and my favorite. So I'll just throw mine out there. Uh, I seem to get plywood. That seems to be my favorite wood to get a sliver with. Other woods, I don't seem to have a problem with the pine or some of the other lumber I have here, but. The plywood seems to always get me, and that's the product I wanted to throw at you today. Just something that's just, it's fun, but I will provide a link in the description below. Here it is right here. Yep. I keep a pair of these Tweezer Man, uh, Tweezer Man, excuse me, Tweezer Man. I keep this pair in my desk here at the wood bench at all times because God knows it seems like every couple of times, every few days, I seem to pick up a sliver. And Tweezer Man uh, was highly recommended uh, from other woodworkers and said, yeah, get you a pair, keep them in the wood shop all the time because they just, they can get that sliver out real quick, real easy, better than any other kind of tweezers out there. And they're not that expensive, but uh, I will provide a link, like I said, in the description below, which uh, benefits the channel. And uh, we'll offer these out there. But I thought it would be funny today because uh, we have a draw coming up. So I thought, you know what? I like to do something, I uh, would like to do this more often if we could. I want to throw out a booby prize. So you can pretty much guess what the booby prize is today. It will be a pair of the tweezers for getting those darn nasty slivers out of our hands when we're working with wood. Oh man, too much. Man, I'm still excited about the announcement that uh, we've got this, uh, this will be the first channel with this machine in a couple weeks. I am just, oh, I'm a little ecstatic about it. Anyways. We need to get to the draw and see who's got a brand new Japanese saw coming at them this week. And then we gotta start the draw for next week. So let's let's get to the let's get to the draw and get some tickets out and see who's who got sliver man. <laughs> wow, well, this has never happened before, but I I should have known sooner or later it would catch me. Uh, every once in a while the camera does a little trip thing and it uh, it doesn't record. So I'm like, what happened? So after four minutes of recording twice, we didn't have anything on the uh, capture. So it was like, oh great. So anyway, we're back now, but we've already had the draw. So now what do I do? Uh, we're going to, uh, I guess we'll, what, uh, reenact the draw really quickly. That's, okay, we were drawing for the uh, Japanese saw, and I'm gonna, like I said, take it apart, put it in a small box, and ship it to you. I reached in the bucket and I pulled out this guy's name, and he's won, I think, something from us before. There was like 200 entrants, so there was quite a few people involved, but Mr. James in Buckingham, Virginia. You got yourself a Japanese saw coming at you. I hope you enjoy there, Mr. James. I'm sure you will. It's, it's really a unique uh, saw and it gives you some really different um, really different feel about cutting lumber with these. It's, they're very interesting. And uh, that was the draw for the Japanese saw. Now I also decided this week on Thursday we would do a booby prize. I haven't had one for a while. I like the booby prize. I think they're pretty funny. And this one was as good as any. <laughs> But again, reached in the bucket, pulled this guy's name out, and like I said, I, I can't reshoot this. I would cheat these guys out of winning, because they won, but unfortunately the camera decided not to record. So, uh, Thumb, in San Diego, California, congratulations, you got the booby prize. You are getting a 
tweezer man in the mail. And next time you have a sliver, you'll have a weapon to deal with it. <laughs> I would keep one of these, all the woodworkers I've talked to, a lot of them already had these. They keep them nearby or you know in the wood shop somewhere, available right away handy because God knows we all get those slivers, don't we? So anyways, thanks everyone for entering. Sorry about the uh, screwed up, you know, we're trying to do a live video thing and the camera has been, actually the camera has acted up quite a bit today. We've been having problems with the battery, the SD card, all of it. So it's like, it could be the, probably the humidity of Texas is probably doing something to it. I'm going to burn these tickets like we always do. And for next Thursday, we have a new product. We have a new item we're giving away. Yay! Also, there'll be links provided in the description below for the Japanese saw, the Mr. Tweezers, and all that other stuff. And even this product, which, yeah, this ought to be pretty cool. Okay, let's see how we do with this on camera here. But uh, it's going to be hard to show it. But. Actually, it doesn't stand on its own. I took it off the backyard here, but it's been in here for a while. It's, uh, yeah, officially about, a, oh, a good 105 degrees in here today. <laughs> it's a little warm. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get this on. I better put this back or the wife will kill me. Mm. See that? Connect with us on YouTube. All right. Now, what are we giving? Oh, this is what we're giving away. Oh, yeah. The Grabber Pro from Milescraft. I'm giving one of these away for next Thursday to a viewer, whoever you are. Now, how do you get in on this? Okay. Stand over. We'll get over here today. Get way over here, and I'll point that way. <laughs> Send an email to ctrewards at gmx.com. Put the address right there. One entry per household from anybody, anywhere. Even if you've already won a couple times, go ahead and put your name in again. In the body of the uh, email, uh, just write the letters PRO, P-R-O, just PRO. That's why we know, you know you're in here, you're in it, you're in it to win it. <laughs> and the email itself, just your name and address, as if you were doing a postal return or something, that's all we want, that's it. And we don't share that information with anybody else. It's made up as tickets, it's drawn from the bucket each week, and you get something, or you'll hopefully Eventually, maybe everybody gets something. I don't know. Next week, we might do another booby prize. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll move over back over here because I don't think we got any more funny stuff to show. Alrighty, cool. So, again, congratulations to uh, James and uh, Tom out there in San Diego. You guys got some funny stuff for watching the old show. I've got some uh, interesting tools coming in. We are having a delay problem with uh, shipments and I'm not sure what's going on. And then on top of that, we have something that's being rushed into us. Like I said, it should be a prototype. It should be like, it'll be the first in the US of A. And from what I understand, this is the first channel that will host and review the new tool, which is from a company I've dealt with before. So I'm very pleased to have them on board for that. The uh, other thing we got coming up is uh, we're going to do another uh, basic on 3D printing for anybody that wants a 3D printer. And basically what I'm going to do, it's going to be a long video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 3D printer and go through all the steps of setting it up to where to go get a file, what to do with your computer, how to download, how to put it in the file, how to put it in the 3D and how to, you know, see a nice print come off. That show will probably take it's probably half hour long or something, but uh, we've got that planned for next month, and that'll include using, we're gonna do it, I was gonna do it on the Hornet, but I think we're gonna go ahead and do it on the longer LK5 Pro machine that I have here. That's a nice machine, I like the machine, so we'll be doing it, and we're gonna have a special price for the longer LK5 Pro, a sale price. Yes, I like sale prices. Uh, what else? Oh, and the Hornet. Uh, I'm holding the Hornet back right now. The Hornet Auxiliary 3D printer is a nice machine. It's a really, uh, really, really sweet little machine. Uh, we've got some more projects coming up for it, so we're, we're going to keep that uh, here for the time being. Now, for next Thursday, of course, we got this, and a, uh, I think we'll do another booby prize just for fun. And then uh, after that, I'm not sure what direction we're heading in because by that time we have this other tool coming in that we're going to be reviewing and offering to the viewers and it still hasn't made it. I am not sure what the delay or what the problems are with it. So we'll have to get back to you. I'll update you guys on that when I, when I find out what's going on. But in the meantime, hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. It is warm in here again today. <laughs> Over and out. Boom.